What's up, Coach Haas here, authentically well, the weight loss guy with an addiction to lasagna. My client asked me one question, and I wanna give you the question and also how we helped her answer it. She said, hey, listen, Haas, we're working out for a year and a half, and I am not seeing the results that I uh, want to. It's been a year and a half, why am I not seeing this? She gave me her schedule, she's doing her, 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 uh, her, her gym training two to three times a week, an at-home workout, and uh, like daily walks, and she's also eating right, fruits, plenty of fruits, plenty of veggies, plenty of protein, nothing's changing. Why is that? First thing she needed to do was to find what success is. What is your, what was her version of success? Was it toning, losing weight, general health, fitting, like something? She didn't have that, so for you, define your exact version of success. Number two, how do you know that you've achieved that version of success at the end of the program? Will your clothes fit better? Will you be more confident? Will you have lost 15 to 20 pounds? Whatever, right? So have those two things before you even start. Okay, so these are the things. Now let's get to, to solving this problem for her. Number one thing, like it was the structure. She had no structure in her program. She was just walk, like just jumping in the gyms and just doing whatever she wanted. Maybe she did cardio Monday, maybe she did weightlifting Tuesday, more weightlifting cardio. She was just using fitness as an outlet, which it is an outlet, I agree, for stress and all that stuff. But if you're if you're really trying to get these results, you gotta have a little more structure, a balanced plan, um, which we'll talk about in a second, and how to see if your workout's working. So weighing in, she would just weigh in whenever she felt like it, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, especially after heavy drinking nights. So she was just weighing, so the skills was always effed up. So I said, listen, you need to you need to have set days that you're gonna weigh in. So every the first of every month or every Saturday. So she picked every Saturday. You're gonna weigh in every Saturday morning, the same time, every Saturday, and shoot me the weights via, via, via email so we can log your weight correctly. Then take pictures. She had no pictures. Your body physically looks differently over after a year and a half of working out. You may not see it though, because especially if you're focused on the scale, you may not see it. So take pictures, you know, front side and like from, you know, front side and back. And over time, you'll be able to see, or you'll have a coach, like my co my clients see that I'm able to break their pictures down. Like, oh, that worked. Okay, so pictures are super important. And then finally, you can also buy three size down clothes uh, smaller, and you'll be able to see. So if you can fit your clothes after a year and a half, like smaller size clothes, smaller fitting clothes, your program is working. Your scale may, may not. And the reason is because when you start weightlifting, your body has water retention. But we'll talk about that later. So those are three things you can do, apply right now to a program. So that's how you structure it. Number two, she worked, She was not working out hard enough. So that means is this. Most people go to the gym and they use it as a social outing. There's nothing wrong with high fiving your friend at the gym. Well, not now because of corona, fist pumping, whatever the case is. But if you can relatively, the rule, the rule for fitness, if you can relatively have a full conversation during a workout, like, hey, girl, you know, you seen a, uh, tell me something that people, I watch Barry, so I'll say, hey, listen, you saw that last Barry episode? That joint was lit. Like, Barry is the best show. If you don't know about Barry, check it there. But anyway, so we'll talk about it. If I can have a full episode talk about Barry, I'm not working out hard enough. That's just a fact. Same thing with you. Talk, and search your favorite TV show. Put it in the comments. So... The reason you need to work hard is because you need to get into a fat burning zone. Your heart rate needs to be elevated. Your muscles need to feel worked. Some people, in little as you get in better shape, you'll understand that more, feel that more. So get the heart rate up, or whatever. More weights in a in a safer manner. Then number three, she was working too hard. Now working hard is good, but you can also overdo it. And think about it like this: working out is stress inducing, but if you are internally stressed, like you're working 50, 60 hours a week to pay the sky high rent in New York or Cali or whatever it is, or your kids are stressing you, you're not sleeping, you're not, uh, you're mal, like, malnourished is the word I'm looking for, thank you, malnourished. You do all that and then you're trying to use working out as the sole uh, like penicillin for that, you're gonna burn the candle at both ends, which means you will not get the results because fat loss is hormonal, you need your hormones, you need your parasympathetic system to uh, activate while you are working out. It's just, it's just internal processes have to work without getting all sciency. So, and also when you over, when you work out too hard, guess what happens when you work out too hard? That's right, the injury bug. 
Now you're getting injured because you're not working out safely. Your program's not balanced. So that's also what we do for online coaching plans, clients. We give them balanced plans to keep them safe, to keep it uh, interactive for them, to keep it engaging, and also like keep them safe so they can work out and get results. So that's number three. Last, she was overestimating the calories she was burning at the gym. So I'm not... I'm like, I'm right now, I don't really know my stance on technology and fitness. I've had a lot of good experiences and I've had a lot of bad experiences with like heart rate monitors and calorie, like that count the calories. And the reason I say that is because like I've had experiences where people have, their day is not the same if they don't get that calorie, like that, that calorie number in their head burned, but they've done so much more correct stuff in the workout, but they can't get past the calorie, whatever for the day. So um, it's more of a distraction in that case. But if you just need it as a reference, like every once in a while, just to see, make sure you're good and that heart rate zone, good. But just be aware that sometimes fitness does glitch. It could overshoot it. It could overcalculate it for you. It could undershoot it. There's a problem. So it's never 100% accurate. The best thing, if you really want to know how your workouts are progressing, go to the structure. Um, and then also at the dinner table. She was overestimating. She was overestimating how much calories she was eating. So it's the most simplest terms for fat loss or weight loss. If you're burning more calories than you are, if you are burning more calories than you're eating, you'll lose weight and vice versa. If you're eating more calories than you burn, you will gain weight. She was at the table thinking she's eating salads, great salads, uh, protein. But the issue is like the add-ons with the salad, tons of uh, like salad dressing, Tons of just added, and this this was adding three, five, six hundred calories per meal. So you think that she, she thought she was eating right, but she was actually not. <laughs> and this added up. So I want you to either, if you're doing any of these mistakes, put in the comments the one that you want to correct, and you can correct by based off what we've told you. Um, and if also this is the stuff that we show our online clients besides working out, how to maintain these results, which is most important. You should shoot a DM to me ASAP. Um, we are launching a program tomorrow, so keep out on the keep an eye out for that. We're gonna be showing people how to like build muscle, lose that belly fat, um, see those arms for the springtime, especially since we're home. How to eat right, do all that stuff, keep safe, answer their questions, all that at the price of you can say a retro fitness membership because we're being sensitive to the times you're in, and we're getting through this together. So if that's you, look out tomorrow. If not, share, tag, comment, and like. So. I'm going to get out of here after that. I have people that tell me I talk too much and do not get to the point. I severely disagree. I disagree. How could I not talk about fitness and lasagna for more than eight minutes? It's awesome. Go to AuthenticHost.com, fill out a coaching app, or read a blog, whatever's up to you. Share, comment, tag a friend. Let's keep it safe. Be healthy. Be happy. Hug your dogs, your loved ones. Let's get through this together. See you later.